Project CAD 2014 Architectural Design with EasyArc Designing Roofs In the previous tutorials, you learned how to set the preferences to start drawing with EasyArc 3D and how to insert and modify 3D parametric objects such as doors and windows. This tutorial will show how to design floors, roofs and stairs. Now we are designing the floor. You can change the name of the layers where 2D and 3D parts of the floor will be created. We are picking the points to define the floor. Now let's design a 3D roof. To begin with, we are drawing a rectangle to define the overall dimension of the roof. Then we move the rectangle to the Z eaves elevation by using the Z move command. Set the pitch slope to 30 degrees. Pick the points for the roof. The first two points are selected on the eaves line. Now we are finalizing the walls by automatically raising them right up to the roof with the help of the variable height wall command from the utilities menu. On cancelling all the previous operations, let's have a go at creating the heap roof. We are indicating the eaves elevation. And here now we are extending the external walls with the variable height wall command. Manually we turn off the 2D roof layer to design the stairs outline. We choose the spiral stairs and specify the settings of the stairs. Once the stairs have been created, the external walls are reconstructed in line with the height of the floor indicated in the preferences. We will extend the walls up to the roof further on. We draw the outline of the stairwell opening in the floor. We pick the points for the floor boundary. For the floor not to break the external walls, we are drawing the floor inside. With the help of the Edge option, we indicate the arc for the opening in the floor. We can change the color of 3D floor layers to make the drawing more effective and clear in the realistic visualization mode. Completed, we are extending the external walls with the variable height wall command. 